Hello friends, this video on coordinate geometry part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 5. Let's take some more example on distance formula. We have to find the point on x axis which is equidistance from 2 and 2 power minus 5 and minus 2 power 9. So any point which is on the x axis will be of the form y will be 0 because if the point is in the this is my x y axis if the point is on x axis the perpendicular distance from y is 0 also if you take this point and you uh, take this point to y axis it becomes 0 so y is always 0 that is something of the form k comma 0 any point or x comma 0 to be specific. Any point x and y is always 0. So we can say that first any point on x axis b let any point on x be x comma 0. This is my point. The question says from this point the distance of 2 minus 5 that is this point let's suppose and minus 2 9 this point let's suppose the distance this distance and this distance are same and we have to find the point x correct so first say the distance of let's suppose this point is uh, a this point is b and this point is let's suppose uh, c this is c so let's find AC, right? And so AC will be nothing but root of A and C distance. So x2 minus x1, this is x, this is minus 2. This is x minus 2 square plus this is 0, this is minus 5. 0 minus minus 5 square. This will be AC. Because we are talking about distance between a and c. This is x, this is 2, x minus 2. This is 0, this is minus 5, 0 minus minus 5. So this becomes root of x minus 2 square plus 5 square. So that is my distance between a and c, a c. Similarly, we find distance between b and c, b c. So b c will be nothing but root of this is x, this is minus 2. So it will become x minus minus 2 square plus this is 0 this is 9 0 minus 9 square so this becomes root of x plus 2 square plus minus 9 square this is bc now the question says ac is equal to bc ac is equal to bc that is what the question says this is my equation number 1 equation number 2 so from these equation we get is root of x minus 2 square plus 5 square plus 25 is equal to root of x plus 2 square plus minus 9 square that is 81. So if you square both side, if you square both side now, you can square both side, this becomes x minus 2 square plus 25 is equal to x plus 2 square plus 81. If you expand this further you get x square plus 4 minus 2 into 2x that is 4x plus 25 is equal to x square plus 4 plus 2 into 2 4x plus 81. x square x square cancel 4 4 cancel. So what I will get if I take this this side this side I will get minus 8x I will take this side is equal to 81 minus 25 and that is nothing but 56 so I will get x is nothing but minus 56 by 8 that is the name minus 7 x is minus 7 is my answer the point I took was x comma 0 this becomes minus 7 comma 0 from which so the point is minus 7 comma 0 and this point is equidistant from 2 comma minus 5 and minus 2 comma 9. 
what we have done we have taken any point on x axis to be x comma 0 and then we found the distance from that point to a that is ac then we found distance from that point to b that is bc we equated these two distance and then we got x is equal to minus let's take one more example find the value of y for which distance between these two points p and let's suppose this is q is 10 minutes very simple question actually you so just find distance between p and q and made it to be 10 so distance between pq is pq that will be root of p and q so 2 minus 10 2 minus 10 square plus minus 3 and y that is minus 3 minus y square correct 2 and 10 so 2 minus 10 square minus 3 minus sorry minus 3 plus 1 minus 3 minus 5 square so this becomes nothing but root of 2 minus 10 is minus 8 square plus this becomes minus 3 plus y square correct and this is nothing but 10 units given the square both side this becomes 64 minus square plus 3 square plus y square plus 2 into 3 is 6y is equal to 100 how we got squaring both side we got this minus 3 square is 64 3 square is 3 square y square and 6 square correct so what we'll get y square plus 6y plus 100 so this minus 100 because I'm taking this side plus 64 plus 9 is equal to 0 or what we'll get y square plus 6y 64 and 9 is 75 this becomes minus 25 is equal to 64 and 9 is uh, 73 this becomes 27 we we'll factorize this 9 into 3 is 27 and this is 6 9 uh, minus 9 sorry 9 minus 3 is 6 and 9 into minus 3 is 27 so this becomes y square plus 9y minus 3y so it becomes plus 6y minus 27 into 0 and this we get y plus 9 and this is minus 3 therefore y is equal to 3 or minus 9 to value of y very simple you just have this uh, y we got distance distance came out to be minus 8 square plus minus of 3 plus y square and that is equal to 10 square both side we got a quadratic equation solved it and got the value of y is equal to 3 or minus 9 let's take one more example thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again